When I first became a Christian at 16, I had absolutely no idea that I was meant to be embarrassed about being a Christian. I knew very few Christians uh, at the time and I had no idea there was such a thing as a coy Christian, you know, someone who was a bit quiet about it all. So when I became a Christian, I just talked uh, to everything, you know. Basically, if it breathed, I evangelized it. And so my church thought I should be trained in evangelism. And after months of training, I was set loose on the unsuspecting public of Sydney. But here's the interesting thing. Um, though I was more trained now, uh, my natural uh, love and uh, ability to actually talk about my faith seemed to evaporate. I'd spent months learning a gospel presentation and I tell you, I was going to inflict this on whoever I got to speak to, you know, no matter what the topic was. Um, and it was ages before I worked out that uh, this uh, look in their eyes as I talked on and on was not really the look of spiritual wonder at all. It was very much a kind of get me out of this conversation look. But if we reduce our mission toward the world simply to speaking, what it does is it overlooks a whole bunch of passages in the New Testament that explicitly uh, are connected to promoting the gospel, to leading others to know Christ. And what I'm trying to do in The Best Kept Secret is to say, actually, you know, the best kept secret of New Testament mission is that there's a whole range of things that you can do in your everyday life that can promote the gospel to others and bring them to him.